Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. Today, um, we're rocking a really purple look to answer the question no one's asking. Yes, I did film this look. Yes, it'll be up later this month. It's a new month, the new beginning of the month, which means we need to wrap up the old month quickly. And to do that for me, I need to talk about my trash and let you know my opinions on some things. So this does include some Project Pan spoilers. Before we talk spoilers, I will disclaim it. I will have a timestamp on the screen so you can know when to move ahead. Um, yeah, so let's just talk some trash. I don't have that many items that I'm just going to talk about. So first thing I just, I, I normally do this in like empties, declutters, and then purchases. So I know my birthday haul, which is a minuscule amount of this makeup, um, comparatively, has already gone up on my channel. I will link it in the cards and down below in the description box. However, um, I do have some things that I just want to quickly declutter. It's really one thing. I have one thing I want to declutter, and that is this. I This is a Cat Eye Cosmetics um, lash glue, and I hated it. I hated it so much. It ruined a pair of lashes, which is in here, which I'm going to count because I did wear them multiple times before this travesty entered my, entered my life. So the, in theory, this was a good lash glue. However, in delivery, it was not. So I like the fact that it is a brush on applicator. I like the fact that the packaging is sleek matte black. I do not like the fact that no matter from the first time I opened it to now, there's like chunks and hunks and it is it's gross so i don't know if you'll really be able to see on the wand come on baby let's focus it's just like goopy it's just goopy and it's always goopy and it like really i don't really think you'll be able to see come on it's just like right there. It's just lumpy and not good. And it does not dry down to like a lash glue is normally supposed to do where it actually dries down and then it's glue. This remains sticky, icky, icky on the lid, on the lashes. I wore this on my birthday and that was kind of like the determining factor of like, I'm not going to use this anymore. I could feel my eyelid and my lashes sticking to like the top hooded part of my eye and it was disgusting and I was irritated all like not like angry irritated but like I was like physically irritated I was like what is going on with my freaking eyelash and I know it was this because my eyelashes never give me a problem except for when I started using this so this is getting decluttered this is going away forever it's going in the garbage it's it's not good it's not a good product we ruined these lashes and these lashes were so beautiful. Um, these lashes were really expensive. It was a kickstart campaign that I did um, and I completely butchered them. Like I tried cleaning the glue off of them, which mind you, the glue is still not. And that's kind of why they're hanging, literally hanging on by a thread. I just, I want you to know, I soaked this in water. I, I scrubbed, the, I like used coconut oil and tried to massage the glue off and the glue is still like, it's still sticky. It, the glue is still sticky. It's disgusting. So I I ruined a pair of lashes. However, I've worn these like 20 times. So I'm not that heartbroken because they, they you got a long life. They had a long life. The company is no longer a company. I, I tried searching for them because I really liked the quality of these lashes and they're just, they're no longer in existence. So quite a shame, but I'm really sad about this actually. I'm very sad. Then I I kind of called it in my November Shop My Stash. This is a Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie lip gloss in the shade Social Light. And I finished it. I was like up to here when we pulled it in the month and I knew I, I can power through this particular lip gloss. There's not a ton of product in it. There's 2.25 mils of product in this. So substantially less than like most of my other lip glosses that I have in my collection. So I really liked the formula of this. And I know this is like very old, like disgustingly old. Like I probably shouldn't have put it on my lips still kind of old. 
but it smelled fine. It applied fine. It didn't irritate. It never like caused dryness on my lips, which I feel like might be a determining factor if something's going off is like, it's just feeling not fresh and not moisturizing. Um, I like the Marvelous Moxie lip glosses. I find them very hydrating. I believe when I worked there, they're formulated with jojoba and shea butter. So then a couple other items that I used up, which I'm very excited because I did not like them. I finished a couple products by Nola Skin Essentials, and the reason I am kind of like put off by the brand is the way that they handled a order that I placed with them. The order that I bought my items in, they charged me for an item, didn't ship my item, didn't tell me that it wasn't shipping until like after it shipped, after they charged me, and then I never got my money back and my bank never was able to process the claim because of whatever reason. So I'm I'm very annoyed by it and the way that they handled it. So the first thing I, I finished was this try me size of the O Whale Aqua Mask. And I just, I'm not a mask kind of person. I just, I've really decided that I'm not a clay pass mask kind of person. I'm not a peel off mask kind of person. Maybe I'm a sleep mask kind of person where I don't have to fuss with it and it's basically a moisturizer not into it. And it was so fragranced. I remember looking online and looking at their description if there was fragrance added and there was no fragrance. It didn't seem like anything had a discernible like fragrance notes or fragrance oils in it. This smells like an ocean scented candle. Notes of the waves hitting the crisp white sands with a breeze blowing the pineapples off the trees or whatever. Pineapples don't grow on trees. But this was so fragrance. This smells like you walk into Bath and Body Works and get slapped in the face with like candle scents. So this, um, it's still scented. Like I washed her out. Like I rinsed her with water and gave her a scrub and she, I mean, she smells good, but like very scented. And then the other item I finished up was this. This is a full size of the Fountain of Youth Serum for a flawless youthful glow. I didn't put this anywhere near my face. I think I put it on my face two times total. And the rest of the times I used it as a body moisturizer because this smelled like a cinnamon candle. Like, and that was, there's no way I'm going to put that so close to like my eyes and everything. Like, no. So this, if you are familiar with the Home Sweet Home Scent by Yankee Candle, it's kind of cinnamony, kind of clovey, just really smells like fall and Christmas to me because that's what my mom burns at Christmas time. Um, I would not repurchase. This was so heavily fragranced. It's like, bam, I would put it on my hands and my elbows. And even that would straight make my eyes start to water because it's just so heavily fragranced with that cinnamon kind of scent that it was just, it was too much. Like, why are you putting so much fragrance in your skincare? Why? The last thing I finished was this guy. This is a Our Nana's Garden. This was also sent to me by Haley. Thank you, Haley. Love you. Um, I actually, um, I only had this in my shower for like two days before it kind of grossed me out. This one in particular, I had two of these and I used one earlier this year and I loved it. This one, for some reason, I don't know if maybe they packaged the wrong one. This one had straight like twigs in it and it was so weird and it like looked like bugs were crawling in my shower and it grossed me out so much that I like had to just throw it out because I couldn't deal with like the look of like leaves and twigs in my shower. I'm like, no, I no. First project pan item that you already know about is this guy. This is the Tart Tardis Clay Play Liner. This is in the shade Aubergine. This was in my 20 favorites in 2020 project. This lasted so long. I have honestly been working on this for a year and a half now. And I mean, if I really wanted to, I could cut it open and there would still be product. There is a ton of product in these, like these little squeeze tube things. So if you ever want your bang for your buck, get one of these. Um, I finished was this Catrice Liquid Coverage um, HD Foundation. I have mine in the shade Light Beige, had in the shade Light Beige. She's empty. I loved this foundation, but Catrice has an atrocious shade range. Whether it's on retailers' websites or the Catrice website, I believe Catrice just has an abysmal shade range. So I don't think I would repurchase this, and I don't know if I would necessarily support the brand right now. I really am looking for more inclusive brands and shopping to denote that. Everything else is new spoiler project pan items. So I will have a timestamp right here. If you do not want to see what I finish up in assortment, in 
in an assortment of projects, please go ahead, skip to that part. There's going to be a link to the portion that you can go to. So if you don't want to like search for it, click the link down there. I will give you a hot second. And then we're going to talk about project pan empties. So the least exciting project pan item we finished up was this guy. So I have been doing a lot of swatching on my free time. I have been really um, going through all of my eyeshadows, marking what's metallic, marking what's satin, marking what's um, matte. So I've been doing a lot of swatches and we used her up. So that was a good chunk this month, gone. Um, near the end of its life, it started to kind of smell like farts. So I'm happy that this is gone. I didn't like this. I didn't like this. I wouldn't repurchase. The next least exciting product is going to be this guy. I feel like we all saw it coming. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I had a very small amount left because it doesn't go like obviously all the way to the bottom. And if you heard me in my last update, the product was kind of like sitting like this where it was up above on the edges and like really in a divot in the center. I took a spatula, scooped everything that I could out of it and put the lid on way too tight. So we are like, there's really nothing in there that I can actually get with my spatula. So I am so happy to have this gone. And I, I was sent one thankfully by Becca and Octoly. So I'm, I'm like, yes, I can use this one up and I'll have one and I'm good. And I, I'm just, I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud of that. And then I think the thing that I am most proud, most accomplished about is this. And this looks like nothing special. However, this housed what was left of my NARS Orgasm blush. So we have now finished an entire other blush. That is three blushes I have finished this year. Granted, they have all been minis. However, a blush is still a blush and a blush is still hard to get through. Overall, not my best month in terms of monetarily using up makeup. However, I will have the, I don't know if this is exactly correct, but I will have the number of like product and everything. And I, I don't know if I'm right or wrong in this. My last update on my spreadsheet was I used up $156.79, which brought our total to above $2,000 for the year. I cannot believe I have met what I've seen Christina Chang do with the ultimate reverse rouge. I can't believe that I am in that club now. Who the hell am I using 2000, over $2,000 worth of makeup? Like crazy madness, absolute insanity over here. I feel like I deserve an award. Yes, I'll take a Tony, thank you. We purchased a lot this month. I kind of assumed going into November that we would kind of go hog wild because at the beginning of November, it is my birthday. And then as we dwindle our happy selves down to the end of November, Black Friday hits, wha-bam. So I went a little crazy. I had temporary blindness, went a little bananas, and here we are. The first thing I just wanna talk, I already had my birthday like haul go up, so I'm gonna briefly glaze over these items, but I got this from Josh for our my birthday. Um, a shade is missing, it, missing. it's in another palette, saving that for another day. Um, but Josh gifted me this, which was so beyond sweet of him. Then you would have saw, I picked up two Hourglass products. I know there's a lot of, um, stuff going on with hourglass and how crappy and uninclusive they are as well. So bought a new lash glue because the other one was literal trash. And then with that, I bought these little dinky, like they're, not, they're like the size of my finger. And I, I feel like I have pretty small hands. This was a really, really great way to try the formula of these and a manageable size because a full size liquid lipstick is a lot of product to go through. Then we got an actual plethora of samples in there very quickly. Got a cleanser, got a moisturizer, got a face mask, got so many perfumes, um, a foundation, oh yeah, foundation sample, perfume, perfume, scrubby cleanser, or like exfoliator, brush cleaner, an eye cream, which I actually am in need of an eye cream, so I'm very thankful to get this one. Um, more perfumes, an eyeliner, another perfume. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. Ooh. Um, a primer. Another primer, the milk primer that I talked about, a cleansing, no, this is a body oil. I don't know what you are. A moisturizing cream, lipsticks. This is a random one. This is a whack sheet. I think they're trying to tell me to get rid of my mustache. Um, and then two 
shampoo conditioner. Um, and then it came with this bag, which I'm gonna use this for when I need to move all of my makeup and still want a little bag to put makeup on me. So there is that. Before we go into my loss of judgment, I wanna just quickly mention, Haley is such an angel, sent me these for my birthday. Thank you. Thank you again, Haley. I cannot tell you how much of a blessing you are to have in my life. So she purchased these and I think she said another thing is on its way. It's just held in Ohio. So the first thing that I purchased, it was actually pre-Black Friday because I knew if I shopped this website on Black Friday, I would have had no holds bar. I would have bought everything because as soon as I found out they were going to have a 40% off sale, I just started adding everything to my cart and being like, I'll, I'll log on early. It was 3 a.m. was in the, the, the shopping started and I was like, I'll just log on it. Like I'll stay up till 2.30 or 3 and be able to check out quick. And I was like, why? You are insane if you're doing this, Laura. Like just calm down, buy the stupid shades you want and call it a day. So I ended up picking up four JD Glow eyeshadows and JD Glow eyeshadows come much larger than this. They come in about the same size as these highlighters from Dandelions Company, maybe a smidge smaller. I don't need this much eyeshadow. I don't, I have such an extensive eyeshadow collection. There is no way I need this much eyeshadow for myself. So what have I done with these? I repressed them. I also repanned the excess um, and I'm giving that to Haley because I don't need that much eyeshadow. Um, she can also get some great use out of it and she's going to enjoy them too. So I picked up the shades White Gold, Good God, Lavender, and Unexpected and they are so beautiful. I'm wearing lavender on my eyes today. Beautiful swatch of these. So um, White Gold, Good God, Lavender, and Unexpected. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. That was the first purchase I made. And then if that was not enough, because we got an eyeshadow palette from Josh, we got eyeshadows from Haley. I've done something. I've done something that I have sworn in multiple, multiple videos. There is video evidence that I said I would never spend X amount of dollars on an eyeshadow palette. I would never do it. I'm not that girl. It's two. These are two of the Natasha Denona 28 pant palettes. Do as I say, not as I do. But I would be lying if I didn't tell you that I am so impressed with the formula, so impressed with the color story, and unbelievably happy to have these in my collection. So the first one here is the green brown palette. This is the one that has my heart, my soul. It's yours, baby. Take it. So this was kind of like a guilt-free purchase. Yes, I do have immense guilt because I never spend that much money on literally anything except for like electronics. I can justify my camera. I can justify like a computer, laptop, I cannot like feasibly justify something like this, except here we are, here we are. I got both of these palettes for the price of one palette. So I feel like I made a smart decision. And then we have the blue purple palette, which is pretty, it's so pretty. And I, I kind of blame Steph Lyons for this one because she bought this relatively recently for her birthday. And I was like, I wanna be like you. I just wanna be like you, Steph. And something with these blues, like these blues are so pretty. And then these two purples in particular, like who am I to like purples? But we do have some of these shades on today. I filmed this look as mentioned previously. Um, so pretty, so pretty. So I'm just gonna swatch a couple shades out of both palettes and then you can um, make fun of me in the comments for buying this. So I'm gonna pick, um, electric violet here and let's go with deep pacific this blue up here so pretty let's go with moonstone here and what was the other one bottle green which is this guy Ooh. bottle green is less exciting than i thought it was going to be but moonstone she's beautiful 
We have purchased these. They are in our life now. They will be treasured, um, kept safe, kept sound, kept intact forever. Let me know if you purchased anything and how buck wild you went in the month of november for all of the deals that are going on i know there's a lot of deals still going on let me know if you stayed strong through all of it and if you just like focused on your your holiday shopping for your loved ones i did a lot of that i also did a lot of damage for myself so maybe i'll just need to wrap little samples up and give them to myself here and there throughout the month so i don't go like too intense but yeah, that is everything. I hope you guys are having a great holiday season. I hope you guys are having a great December and I am looking forward to seeing you in my next video. I hope you guys are doing well. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.